What's up, guys? It's Rob here, and today we've got to talk about some uh, somewhat unfortunate news for Sundial stock, right? It's not the biggest deal in the world, uh, but unfortunately, the stock is moving down on this news. Now, a lot of you guys were expecting the earnings call to be coming out later today, as was I. Unfortunately, that's not going to be the case. They have unfortunately delayed the earnings call yet again. So now it's coming out April 29th. It's been pushed back another two weeks. Now, that is causing some somewhat negative price action in Sundial. As we saw yesterday, some people were potentially buying up the stock before the earnings call, expecting that there might be good earnings, that the stock might be pumping on earnings. And uh, it looks like a lot of those people are now selling the stock off. So unfortunately, we're moving down uh, about 6.5% on the day. Now, uh, the reason that this earnings call is yet again delayed, right? The reason they've had to delay it again is because they have been having a new, new report essentially, that they have to file, right? The audit attestation report has to be filed along with the earnings report. And this is the first time that they've actually had to file that report. And it's actually because the company has been growing so much over the past two years, which is why, you know, new regulations have kicked in for them and they now have to file an audit attestation report. So it's actually for a good reason that the earnings are delayed, right? They have to file this new report just to keep in compliance with all the regulations. And uh, the reason that they're now subject to it is actually because the company's been growing so much. So overall, it's for a good reason that they're delaying this earnings call. And unfortunately, you know, it is delayed, so the stock is moving down a little bit pre-earnings call. It's gains that I would expect we could see come back into the stock pre-earnings again, uh, right? If the same people are just selling out of the earnings call or selling out of the stock right before the earnings call because it's not actually going to happen, I would expect those people might come back in right before the earnings call actually does happen. So it's uh, potentially you know, just a very short-term dip in the stock price, I would hope at least. Uh, but overall, that's the big news that we've cut out today, right? That's why Sundial is moving down a little bit. Uh, you know, people were jumping in pre-earnings, and unfortunately, we've gotten another delay on it. But overall, I would much rather have a uh, complete earnings call and have them comply with all the regulations than have uh, some something go wrong, right? I would much rather that they're able to uh, just take care of this audit and let it all uh, go as it should. Hopefully, they don't find anything too bad, right? This is their first audit, so it will actually probably, you know, be taking quite a while for them to go through. It's understandable. They've got all the company's records that they probably want to go through and uh, just make sure everything's going right now. The second piece of news we've got to talk about today is Sundial is actually going to be participating in the Benzinga Cannabis Capital Conference. Okay, so exciting stuff. Uh, not the biggest news in the world, but this will be a time for them to potentially show off some of what they've got. Uh, it's going on April 20th and April 21st. And Zach George, the company's CEO, will be speaking at 11.50 a.m. on April 20th. Uh, Eastern time. So there's potential that maybe around that time, if Sundial says some good stuff, if they have something good to say that people haven't heard before, maybe the stock price could be moving up. I doubt this would move the stock price down, right? It's not the kind of thing that a company would want to participate in and then drop bad news during. So I could only see this being a bullish thing for the stock. Overall, we might see a little boost to the price because of it. Uh, but these conferences, you know, I, I wouldn't expect them to be the most massive driver of increases in stock price, right? I think mostly what's going to be driving Sundial in the future is potentially, you know, better earnings as well as cannabis legalization, which uh, we haven't had any new word of today yet, right? So the next thing that we've got to look at, once again, the short interest, unfortunately, uh, it looks like as the news about the earnings call being delayed came out, a couple million more shorts jumped in. So about 4 million more shorts compared to what we saw last video. Overall, it's not the biggest amount, right? You can barely even see the little blip this caused on the chart. It's barely anything. Um, but And overall, we're still moving down in a fairly uh, positive way, right? In a fairly strong way. We're still seeing a lot of shorts overall exiting Sundial over the past few months. So it's looking like a good situation. It's looking like shorts are exiting. And I think that's a good idea for their own sake, right? I don't think that shorts should be sticking around in Sundial stock right around the time when we're likely going to see a bunch of cannabis legalization legislation coming out. And hopefully... That, le that legislation will actually be getting passed, right? <laughs> that's the hope. And uh, that's what could be really driving Sundial up in the near future. Now, uh, Sundial, if you look at the chart over the past couple of weeks, has not been doing too good, unfortunately. This earnings call, a lot of people were, were hoping would turn things around. That's delayed out two weeks. Uh, hopefully, there will be something that will be taking us up. I mean, Chuck Schumer has said that April is when he wants to introduce his cannabis legalization bill. Uh, to the Senate. So hopefully we'll see that coming out. It'll probably at this point be coming out before the earnings call, right? Because that just got pushed back to the end of the month. So hopefully we'll see some good news on cannabis legalization before the earnings call. And uh, other than that, guys, that was the quick update that I need to give you guys on Sundial. Just to let you know, if you're expecting the earnings call today, not going to happen. That has been pushed back until the 29th of April. 
uh, at the earliest, right? Assuming there are no more delays. So other than that, guys, uh, keep in mind, none of this is financial advice and have a great day. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.